Section 11.4 covers basic probability. If we roll one die, what's the probability that the roll is less than three? Well, a single die has six sides, and it has the numbers one, two, three, four, five, and six. Out of those numbers, the ones that qualify as less than three are only one and two. We don't include the three itself for less than three. So the probability the roll would be less than three is two out of six, or two sixths as a fraction. On all the probability problems for our class, unless the directions specify otherwise, you may leave your answer in any of these forms. Fraction form, you must reduce. So if we leave this one in fraction form, we get one-third. Or for decimal form, you need to round to three decimal places, or percent form round to one decimal place. If we want to change this answer to decimal form, on a calculator, we would divide the top number first, so enter the one first, then divided by the bottom number, which is three. then round to three decimal places using proper rounding rules. In this case, the digit to the right of the place that we want to round to is less than five, so we're gonna keep the last digit as a three. But if it had been five or more, we would have rounded up to 0.334. In this case, though, it's gonna round to 0.333. You don't need to leave both forms, just one or the other. So it's this one or this one. You don't have to say both. If you want percent form, then you move the decimal point two places to the right, which will give you a percent answer to one decimal place. 33.3% so would be the third alternative. On any probability problem, you may leave your answer in any of these three forms, fraction, decimal, or percent, following these guidelines. But if you are in my hybrid class doing your homework on my math lab, you have to follow the instructions if they ask you for a particular form for that problem or else the machine, the uh, system will count it wrong. But for me, any quizzes and tests, any of these forms is fine for any problem. The sample space of an experiment is the set of all of its possible outcomes. Common sample spaces are one die, two dice, and a deck of cards. All of these sample spaces are on your formula sheet. But if there is another situation with a different sample space, then that sample space will be described in the problem. So examples one and two. If we roll one die, find the probability the roll is first greater than 10. Well, the only numbers on a die are one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we can't get a roll, roll that's greater than 10. It's impossible. Well, if, it's an, if an event is impossible, then its probability is zero. Example two, the probability the roll is less than 10. Well, all six of the numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, are less than 10. So the probability that a roll of the die is less than 10 would be all six numbers out of six. So six out of six, which reduces to one. So if an event is certain to occur, then its probability is one. That means that our probabilities will always range between zero and one.
next few examples come from other sample spaces on your formula sheet. Two dice and a deck of cards. Let's take a look at those. For two dice, we're nearly always interested in the sum of the dice. This chart on your formula sheet shows the sum of all possible combinations of the dice. Note that since there's six possibilities on each die, then when we make the number of combinations of the two of them, basic counting principle, we would multiply six times six and get 36 possible outcomes. So the denominator of any two dice problem will be 36. This picture shows you the 52 cards in a deck. There are four suits, hearts, clubs, diamonds, and spades. Each suit has the same 13 cards, ace, two, three, four, up to 10, then jack, queen, king, which are collectively called the face cards or the picture cards. The face cards are jack, queen, and king only. So there are 12 face cards in a deck. Half of the cards or 26 cards are red and 26 cards are black. Example three, in the dice game craps, two dice are tossed. If a seven or 11 occurs on the first roll, the player wins. What is the probability of winning on the first roll? So on the two dice sample space, we need to find all the sums of seven and 11. There are one, two, three, four, five, six sevens and one, two, elevens on the chart. That makes eight, six and two, makes eight combos that meet our criteria. So the probability will be those eight, so eight out of, always 36 for the denominator, eight out of 36, which reduces to two-ninths. Example four, in craps, if the first roll is a two, three, or 12, the player loses. What is the probability of losing on the first roll? Take a moment to try this problem on your notes. So give that a try yourself. So we're looking for twos, threes, and twelves. There's one two, two threes, and one twelve. So that's four of the sums that meet the criteria. So the four is our numerator. The probability is four out of 36, always 36, which reduces to one ninth. Example five, one card is selected from a deck of cards. Find the probability that it is a face card. Jacks, queens, and kings are face cards. There are 12 face cards. So the probability will be 12 out of 52, which reduces to 3 thirteenths. Example six, draw one card from a deck, find the probability that it is a club. Take a moment to try this problem on your notes. There are 13 clubs out of 52 cards, so our probability will be 13 out of 52, 
which reduces to one-fourth 